Hello, my name is Jordan Halsey. I'm a pediatric plastic and craniofacial surgeon at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. I would like to discuss the diagnosis of submucous cleft palate with you in order to provide an overview of the diagnosis along with our typical treatment algorithm. Facial clefting of all types is one of the most commonly diagnosed craniofacial conditions in infants. Many times, clefts involving the palate involve all palate layers and are diagnosed in early infancy. However, clefts of the palate can also occur when a layer of the oral mucosa is present, making diagnosis of the cleft oftentimes more challenging as findings can be subtle. Submucous cleft palates occur when there is a palatal defect under the oral mucosa affecting the muscles involved with speech production. There is no overt cleft visible on exam, but patients can have a bifid uvula or a uvula that looks like it's separated into two parts, a darkened region along the mid palate called a zona pellucida, and a notch in the hard palate that can be felt on examination. The majority of patients with submucous cleft palate do not require surgical intervention. These patients go on to develop speech appropriately and never require repair. However, it is important that once the diagnosis of a submucous cleft palate is made, your child is evaluated by our Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital cleft and craniofacial team. We want to establish the diagnosis of submucous cleft palate and determine whether it is appropriate, along with following your child's speech development to ensure if surgical intervention is needed and that if it is needed, that it can be done in a timely manner. Management of submucous cleft palate, just like any other cleft palate patient, is multidisciplinary, and our team looks forward to providing the best care for your child throughout all stages of their growth and development.